Hello and welcome to ViewBuild and thank you to everyone who's downloaded the software after our story. Uh, the response has been amazing, in fact so good. Um, it's probably been a little bit slow to download uh, as the, the server's been absolutely hammered today. But anyway, if you keep persisting you'll eventually get through. Um, I thought I'd do a, a, a very short tutorial just on getting started. Uh, so after you've uh, installed the software, uh, simply go to open, go uh, to the land, go standard and go open. Now this will give you a create new project window, just give a name for it. I'll call it Sergi01. Uh, now remember you've got three concurrent saves. After that, uh, until you upgrade for about 25 bucks, you can't open any more projects than three. However, you can write over those three projects unlimited. So uh, if, if you need to have more than three projects, just you know do the 25 buck upgrade. Uh, okay, author Sergi, and we'll just call this test project. Go create project, and there's our starting world. Uh, the first thing to do is get to use to navigation. Navigation is accessed by clicking on this I or pressing F1 on most keyboards. Uh, when you're in view mode, you can double click the left button to focus. Now that keeps whatever camera angle you've set uh, plus the zoom distance. So if we double click on that plan there and then use the wheel on our mouse to zoom in or zoom out. If you don't have a wheel, click and hold the left button and move the mouse forward and back. If you keep the mouse button held and move the mouse left or right, you will rotate around the point where you've double clicked. So if I double click over there or there or double click there, I can rotate around that. If I click and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse forward and back, I will control pitch as well as rotation. Now you can sort of, many of you are probably used to iPhones and gesturing. If you click and hold the right button and sort of uh, flick your wrist in a direction and let go of the mouse button, it'll rotate around. And likewise, zooming. So there's a little bit of uh, inertia in it. Okay, so that's, that's the, the basics of navigation. Obviously you can go under the world. Um, and have a look anywhere and if you need extra navigation points you can simply go to geometric and add a sphere go back to view and that gives us sort of a navigation point okay now we'll, we'll do some more tutorials on some of the other things uh, but the, that's the basics of navigation um, you can also use the arrow keys to zoom in and out and left and right and the page up page down keys act as your right mouse button forward and back uh, w -A uh, south and west and north and east will uh, move to the view on whichever object you've clicked on so if I click on that sphere and click W, we get the west facing view, we get the north facing view, the east facing view, etc. Uh, there's also the walk tool. If we click that, we go down to ground level and if we click and hold the mouse button, left mouse button and move forward and back, we'll walk backwards and forwards. If we move it left and right, we'll turn and then we can move forward. The right button lets us look around and it also supports uh, WASD keys which um, many PC gamers would be familiar with. Uh, so that's the basics. Uh, once again thank you and I'll get some more sample videos up as soon as possible.